my name's Dougie McComb and this is my 1972 um, Mercedes W108 4.5 V8. I brought this car five years ago. I brought it across from California. Um, it was an imported vehicle, being a 4.5. They only made them in California, so you get air conditioning and the bigger engine. I brought it across because I wanted a dry car, a solid dry car, which you get in California. And I don't mind the left-hand drive side of things because that adds to the American lowrider kind of look and feel. Metal work was good. The only thing that was um, rusty was the spare wheel well that was replaced. It was a simple, simple fix. But mechanically it was sound, uh, interior was a bit sun bleached and so was the patina and the paint. So when I brought it across from California, um, I brought it across and then fitted the air ride suspension. So airlift performance air ride, um, literally to be able to slam it on the deck. Myself and two friends fitted it in my garage. Um, I then ran it for a year as a bit of a rat rod uh, with a lowered suspension but just with some fabric over the, the seats to make it look a bit neater than the sun-bleached M-Tech material that was in it as standard. One of the main challenges was when I was running it as a rat rod initially before the restoration. It was low, but it wasn't as low as I wanted it to be. So in between pulling it apart, I ended up doing some chassis modifications and um, some notching of the chassis to allow me to literally put the front subframe and the rear footwell on the ground. So that was one of the biggest thing that not many people had ever done before in the 108. Okay, uh, within that year, um, within that year that I was running around with it as a rat rod, I popped into D-Class to suss them out, um, drove in, aired out on the on the driveway, and all the girls and boys literally come out of the the workshop to see the car. They got it, they got me. Um, Andy clocked my old car, my my mini that was a previous restoration, he knew that. So I thought these guys talk my language. When I come in um, into the driveway, there was a Lupo sitting in the corner with my wheel trims on as well. So sitting low rider stands, um, my wheel trims, and it, it looked my kind of thing. So as I say, one of the main items uh, picking D-Class was whenever I arrived in with the car as a rat rod, they got it. They really got me, they got the car. Um, I then started talking to Dave and Andy about my ideas about having a binge seat. Dave got it straight away. He opened up parts catalogue. He said, yeah, like the standard one, like this, factory option in 72. He was able to show me the schematics, the parts required to make it happen and said, yeah, wouldn't be a problem. So yeah, that was one of the main ideas, one of the main reasons I uh, picked D-Class. Regarding what I ended up choosing, um, the exterior wise I wanted the dark metallic grey anyway. To contrast with that I wanted the, the oxblood red. I spoke with Dave, he was able to offer me the distressed leather, make it with a basket weave, uh, weave as per the standard Mercedes trim. Um, that's the kind of thing that was able to give me a car that looked very factory but with subtle modifications. Things like the grey box weave carpet with the red edging on it. Again, that helped all come together when it came to my um, ebony black uh, wood, dash trim, steering wheel, gear knob, etc., which I was able to source um, and the guys at D-Class were able to fit and make work.
it's about the interior, it's mainly the, the bench seat. Obviously with it being a factory option, the guys at D-Class were able to recreate the exact factory option. So it moves with one um, movement, it tilts with one movement at the side. So they've made it mechanically as well as aesthetically look correct to the factory standard. One of the reasons um, I was after the bench seat was I've got other classic cars that we can really only enjoy two of us in it. But I've now got a, a six-year-old boy and my wife and really my big thing with this car was to get three of us along the front seats. So D-Class were able to give me three seat belts across the front, across the bench seat. And a couple of weeks back, I was able to drive to this cafe to a Mercedes night, three across the front, me, my boy and my wife, which was, that was a moment that was job done. The other two WOW items in the interior for me are the um, hideaway, foldaway screen. That allows me to have Apple CarPlay on the screen, comes out when I want to, sat nav and my, my music, but I can hide it away when I get to a classic car show and make it really subtle and really hidden away. So that works really well and the guys here at D-Class were able to make that happen for me. The other part of it is the boot build. Um, you can either do air ride suspension in two ways. You can make a big song and dance about the, the system, whether the tank, the compressors, the pipe and etc. Or you can hide it all away. And I wanted it hidden away. A W108 has got a massive boot anyway. You can fit bodies in it. But literally, by hiding it away, I've still got a massive boot, which to me means job done. So it looks subtle, it looks as if it was from factory and everything's hidden away and looks good. Since we got it back on the road a couple of months back, um, I've now got four Best in Show awards, that being at um, Got the Drop uh, just last weekend, Tucked at the Manor, Roll Hard and West London Classics were the four that I've done. But I've also been to various other shows, getting mobbed with people wanting to chat about it, loads of people asking about it, who did what work, etc. The big thing for me is I'm able to say that me and two mates did most of the work ourselves, and then specialists like D-Class and Classic Car Revivals did the interior and obviously the paint and body side of things. Okay, really just a thank you to all the the guys and girls at D-Class and the team here uh, really for putting everything in that they did to make the project work. Uh, they listened to me throughout the project, they would send me pictures. Is this how you want it, Dougie? Is this, I've got this idea, would this work? And yeah, really the, the interaction and communication from them is really what made the build work for us. 